Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie, and today I am unboxing a diamond painting. I am not positive where this is from, but because of the quality of the box that's inside and my experience from the past, I am guessing this is from Star R. If not, then I'm going to have to make a new intro. <laughs> so let's open this up and find out where it has come from. I'll pretty much know soon. As, yeah, it's a Star Wars box. Yep. So let's see what she sent to me. From what I understood, there were supposed to be two diamond paintings in here. So let's find out. The funnest part is opening the package. All right. Yep. And she's got, it looks like she's got a new logo. Look at that. That is super cute. So this looks like she's got a big rubber stamp. Because these boxes, these look like card, like card playing boxes, but a little different dimension. But I've always loved these because they've just, they're so sturdy. And um, all the diamond paintings I've received directly from her in China um, have come non-damaged sitting in this box so yes there are two of them all right so as you could see what this first one looked like I will show that one first I'll put a bigger image of it up on the screen right here so all of her kits come with a picture and the name and the size so this one's called Lily's Flowers. And yeah, look at that. She's got her little logo on the sticker too. And they come with this. And I'll show you that when I open it. But you always have to end up ripping the label to open the package. And let's see. See if I can get it out without ripping the bag. Okay. So I haven't gotten a Star Roar in a while, so I don't know if things have changed, but here is the inventory sheet, or basically your, yeah, inventory. And it gives you the kit number, the name. It gives you the, this is the number, like the symbol, the number just the reference number yeah this is a symbol on the canvas this is the drill number now if you can see these drill numbers they're really weird numbers and that's because this is an all rhinestone kit yeah this also tells you how many diamonds you'll need and how many they sent you so they always send quite a bit more as you can see this one that's going to be some special shape, it looks like, because you only need eight, and they sent 11. Maybe. It might be a rhinestone color. Let's see what else they've got. Okay, so this shows you what comes in the toolkit and tells you about all their different size drills, what they do. Here's some instructions on how to diamond paint. Okay, so I always keep this with it. Because then if I want to make uh, labels, I will just copy this instead of having to copy my canvas. It makes it way easier. Okay. And I heard something about that she was starting to do um, licensed work. So I am, yeah, that's what this looks like. Zagary is who the artist is. They, one other thing I just noticed on the other label, they put a difficulty level on here. Oh, I guess it did say full rhinestone on here. So <laughs> you probably realized that before I told you. So it's a 40 by 40. And uh, it's a four diamond out of five diamond difficulty level. And I'm not sure the price, honestly, but I can, I'll link it down below. And I've always been able to get the one that I wanted from Star Wars on Amazon. So 
if it's not available on Amazon, I will link to her um, website page that come. Those don't come from the U.S. They those will in, those will come from China. All right, so the drills are in the inside. Let's pull those out. Oh, that's a toolkit. And here's the drills. So look at all those rhinestones. All right, and that's why I picked this kit because it's full rhinestone. And I just, you know, sometimes it doesn't even matter to me what the subject is. When it's all rhinestone, I just love it. All right, so one of the things that she is known for giving in her toolkit is this bag full of good quality baggies that have these labels, these white strip labels or spots on them for you to write whatever it is you need to write on them. And she always gives you enough for every single color in the kit. She sends a pen grip and a drill pen. She will give you, especially because it's a round diamond painting, she gives you rounded, round tip tweezers. These are the ones that are really good for picking up rounds and for picking off, uh, picking off drill drills off your canvas, even if they're square, that you need to take off. So you can see how they're rounded. And I do sell these um, in my store extra if you are looking for them. She gives you a blue wax pad. And there is a tray. And this is the MOSFA tray. You can see it says MOSFA on the back. So these are a little bit bigger. And then we have a four placer, thin four placer a thin seven placer and a large row straightener for getting in between your rows so you can get them straight exactly what the name is row straightener so there is the toolkit now let's look at the canvas we'll look at the drills afterwards so she prints her canvases on this soft material. I'm not sure what it's called, what material it is. And then the edges are surged because whatever this material is, it does seem to fray a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. There's just a little bit of fraying or whatever that's going on. And then the surged edges, look at that. It's like a triple surge. Oh, look, her icon, or her logo. It is a really cute logo. I like that. So let's look at this. Oh, yeah, and then she sends you these um, release pages. And she gives you enough to cover up the entire area. So for people who like to see their diamond painting come to life as they're diamond painting it and not see it, as you're going and say, oh boy, there's a lot to go. You can cover it up. Or some people just don't like the cellophane, cellophane covering. You can cover it up with these release pages and keep it a secret until you're ready to unveil the section you're working on. So yeah, you get enough, like I said, in here to cover the entire image. I'm just trying to get the curl out of them. A good way to do that is I put it in between a couple of books on my bookshelf and they flatten up. All right, so let us look at this canvas. So this is a color, um, color blockers dream because they're, it's a stained glass image. And that's another reason why I chose it because I love to use my multi-placers. And you're gonna get a lot of that with this image. Lots of it. So her canvas has come with, I say her because Lucy is the one that is the owner of Star Wars. And let's see, they put a key up here at the top left, as you can see. They have the name right there. And there's another key on the bottom right. You've got your schematic, well, you know, your drilling area and the size. So the drilling area is 35 by 35 and the canvas size is 40 by 40. And down here you have a checklist so you'll know how many bags. It tells you the, the, the DMC number and then the, how many packages of that number. So we only have one package of each one and then it tells you a total 
how many total of that color you will be using. So that's, a, that's something that's quite unique. I've not seen anyone else do that on their kits, on their canvases. And I'm just taking out the little bumpies that get caught between the cover and the canvas or the glue when you fold it, which is oh, no problem because this is poured glue. So all of this is going to be rhinestone. I'm looking at that one where you only need eight. Or was I looking at that wrong? No, it says you only need eight of letter Z, which is, I'm not sure if I'll even find it. Yeah. Um, I would think it would be somewhere here in the middle but I don't see the Z. <laughs> Probably because there's only eight of them on the entire canvas. But I can see like the M, which there's only that few right there. Anyway, there it's not, I don't see that there is any special shapes uh, for the Z, uh, you know, I'll find out if it's a special shape when we open the drills and take a look at them. But here, let me just show you the drill field. Very clear symbols. I mean, I have no issue reading those whatsoever. I just can't find the Z because there's only eight. <laughs> but look at that, that's very clear. All right, so if you're a flower lover, stained glass lover, uh, color blocking lover. This would be a beautiful canvas to do. It's a, I, to me, this is an in-between project because it's, you know, 30 by 40 is 40 by, you know, this is a 35 by 35. So that's about the same as a 30 by 40. Those I consider in-between projects because I've gotten, t I have tons now that are so huge that that's got to be an in-between project. So let's look at the drills. And then we will move on to the next set of paintings. All right, I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see these sparklies up close. All right, it's focusing. Let's see, let's start with the first color. It has a weird smell, um, this packet does at least from whatever factory they were bagged up in. I don't know what the smell, it's kind of a glue smell. Uh, I'm gonna have to show you from the back because you can't really see the color with the label in the front. I don't have as much light going on in here today either. This is like a brown, kind of a brown color, light brown. Then we got a like a greenish yellow here. And there's another shade of green yellow. This is a dark green. It looks like an emerald green. It's showing a lot of the bottoms. There. Kind of see there. And here we have like a copper color. There's another green. That's really pretty. You get a lot of green because of all the leaves and the stems. But then we're going to have lots of this pink too. Different pinks. So there's one. This is like a really pale champagne pink. There's another green, another pink, and another one. So this one's almost red. So we have a light blue, like a cyan color. And we have another green there. And this is like a baby pink. And another darker pink, magenta maybe. Here's another darker, uh, darker than the baby blue or cyan, whatever color that was. And here's a topaz color, another baby pink type. This one is, uh, this is like sapphire, it's a deep blue. And here's another beautiful blue. And then a reddish kind of pink color. But I'm confused. Okay, it's not going by, um, they don't put them in order, like one, two, three. So they go by, I don't know what they're going by. 
Maybe they started on this end. Okay, yeah, 546. I don't know. I don't think there's any type particular order to these. But let's see. A20 is drill 119. It has 8 is all you need. So I'm trying to find that what that Z color is. It's 16, 3, 7, 13. Okay, something... There's a big X on this, so I'm not sure what that means. A13. I don't know why that's there. I am a little confused. But I'm looking for A19. No, A20. There it is. Okay, so it's this the champagne color. It says... Uh that you need eight, but you get 11. And that's way more than 11. So they give you way more than you need. So there's definitely, come on, focus. I had to focus there. So yeah, you know, they definitely give you enough and with some extras. I'm just curious why there's a little X on this color here. So I'll probably contact her to find out, I don't know if it's an error, but it matches up to everything that's on the list here. A13. The bags were pressed kind of crooked there. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back with the second one. Okay, while I was away, I did check um, information on this diamond painting and it is a new release so right now it is only available on her website which i have linked for you down below it is thirty dollars and 99 cents and you've got to realize um that when diamond painting companies start using artists that are authorized that they give them a portion of the sale then that, that's when diamond painting sales prices go up. So if you're wondering why it's more expensive than all the, that they normally are from her, consider the fact that there this kit is completely 100% rhinestone and the fact that it is um, a licensed piece of work. So uh, let's start on this next one. It is done by the same artist. It's called an angel, and here's what it looks like. This too is a new release, but it is available on Amazon. It just depends on when it when um, they arrive in the warehouses and whatnot, whether it's going to be available on Amazon. So this one says it's the difficulty level is three out of five. Which, <clears throat> just by how I'm looking and seeing that this has got some confetti in it, as you can see here, or right here, uh, it actually would seem to be a little bit more on the difficult side than the previous one to me. So I would actually g probably give that previous one, I would probably give that one maybe maybe three, between two and three, in my opinion, on how difficult it would be. Uh, but this says it's a 40 by 52, but that is the canvas size. The drilling area is 35 by 47. And like I said, this is available on Amazon and it is $25.99. It has 25 colors and it does have AB drills. I also checked on the canvas material and in one description it says that it's a cotton, a cotton fabric or canvas and um another area it said it's lint so i don't know if there's such a thing called cotton lint if there is i'm guessing that's what this the material of this canvas is so here is our schematic or inventory i uh, this actually says 26 colors uh the website said 25 colors on amazon but it is 26 according to this and it shows that we have two AB colors. One is white and one is pink. And one thing I didn't point out in the last video, but you can see the symbols are simplistic, easy to read. I appreciate that. 
Uh, I really enjoy when companies go through the numbers and then the alphabet, uh, I can't speak, the alphabet before resorting to using symbols. So in this, in fact, is using not only numbers and letters, but she is also using upper and lower case so that the only symbols we have on here are letters and numbers. I really, I mean, that is, that's a huge factor to me on a diamond painting. That, that gets huge props to me when a company will do that. All right, so what else do I have here? It is round. And let's pull out the, I'm not gonna go over the toolkit since it's the same, gonna be the same toolkit that I just showed you on the first one. This one does have, there's the drills and our, get those out. I'll get it out when I unroll this. But because it is poured glue, if you have want to flatten it, here's our cover pages. If you're wanting to flatten it, you can roll these backwards and it will not harm the canvas or the glue. That is one of the wonderful ben benefits of using poured glue. And I'm just trying to get these stuck somewhere so they can start flattening. All right. So like I said, same toolkit, lots of baggies, enough for the kit, and everything else that came in the previous kit will be in there. All right, so, so like I said, I'm gonna roll it the other way to flatten it a little bit. And you can see this one is bigger than that first one. Like I said, it is, uh, let's see, what did I say? 35 by 47. All right, so here we go with same thing, schematic up here, schematic down here. Our A, B is where are they gonna be? There's gonna be symbols T and Y. And that is something that um, Star Wars does is she's not afraid to put a lot of, of A, Bs on a diamond painting. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing, but I just, that is an observation. So starting with T, all of this white, all of it, that's going to all be AB, including in her dress, all these spots here. And this Y is the other AB. So her almost her entire dress is going to be ABs. So all of this pink here, this pink, that pink, that, this white, this white, and that white. All the white that goes around the edge of her wings. And the other spots of white that you see here and here, and the wings themselves, and again, up here in her halo. Those are all AB. And the other places you're gonna find the, the Y for the pink AB are gonna be here, 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 right there. And we've got a few in her face, uh, on the outsides of her lips, and on the edges of the lines of her face. So that is actually all of the ABs. It's very easy to see what is what on this because it is stained glass. You're gonna get a lot of color blocking, but you're gonna get a bit of confetti as well. So here in the outer edges of the halo, that is color or confetti, sorry. And going through here, that's gonna be a bunch of color changes. And again, you're gonna get a bit of color changes down in here and the like, and there. A little bit here, right there. But as you can see, most of it is color blocked. But the lines between these stained glass sections, they're not just one color. So you're, I'm seeing H, G for A, or lowercase a, I should say, M. Well, M is part of the outline of the sun, the sunbeams, it looks like. But we have at least three, three or four different colors just in the outline area. 
So yeah, we've, we've got a mixture of confetti and color blocking on this diamond painting. So I would definitely put this one at a four, four star for rating as far as difficulty level goes. So that would get a little bit more, be a little bit more difficult in my opinion, because just for the simple fact that you have to change colors more often. And you can see, this is how I knew that Zachary was who it was licensed to because I was looking on this one where it says licensed from Zachary. So one thing I'm, I'm a little bit wondering about, I think these are her eyebrows and then these are her eyes. And she doesn't have a nose. That's what it kind of looks like to me. But it it does make it look like her eyes are closed. The way this is done. So she just has a really high forehead. Because I don't think that these up here are the eyes. And those are the cheeks. That's how I see it. Let me look, let me look at the picture. Yeah, those are supposed to be eyebrows. I think this Z may have been better, should have been better down here, switched with that. And I might do that because that way it's uh, symmetrical with the other eye. But this makes it look like the, the uh, angle to her eye was cut off and put up here. So I think that's one change I would make. I normally don't change on a diamond painting how it is drilled but that just looks like it might have been a um, mistake maybe maybe not but it's one drill no big deal to me if I'm gonna change something but let's look at these drills and check out how pretty they are and here we are Okay, the, this is cool because this has got a really big bag of one of the colors. I looked at my phone for a second there and I thought I wasn't recording. I do realize though that I have it turned the wrong way, but my editing program should be able to fix that because I've been using a new one lately. All right, so look how big this bag is. I'll zoom you in as usual. There we go. Yeah, look how big that bag of blues are. Look oh, here, let me get in the camera. There we are. So that's, it says it's A01. So yeah, I don't know how these are lined up whatsoever because this is a DMC 334. This is DMC 602, but it's A06. So. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason on how they they line these up, but let's just take a look at them from the back side so we can actually see the colors. All right, this is pink. I don't have my extra light turned on right now. It's dark pink, but not as dark as what it's looking like in the camera. And here's some blues. You can tell what color they are. There we go, brown. Uh, I gotta stop saying the color. You can see what color they are. You know your colors. Lots of brown, though. Because mainly, I think, because her hair and the halo have some browns going through it. Now, this is interesting. I don't know if this got cut off. But there should be more. I could check, but there's just a little tiny bit in that bag. Oh, I love that pink. So, I keep wanting to tell you what the colors are. <laughs> And there we go. We got a lot of jumpers. That jumped all the way from, oh, wait a minute. Hey, look, we got something open or we have a loose drill from something. I'm a little worried about that. I was looking at this, yeah. It's actually got a color, a really dark blue one in there and a light blue. I don't know how that happens. A little bit of peach. I don't know. Maybe that's her face. She has a more, little bit more skin tone than just this. So I'm guessing that's not what that's supposed to be for. All right. So we have a big bag of the pink ABs. Yep. There is a lot of AB in this 
diamond painting. And then we've got two bags of the white. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous those are. If you don't know what AB drills are, uh, you can see how these have extra color on the, there's a coating on them. And they give it just an extra zap of sparkle where these are placed. If I can get up closer maybe. Yeah, see how you can see when it starts um, going blurry, you can still see that sparkle. That's the AB coating. It kind of has a rainbow effect to it. That's um, the AB coating, and AB is short for Aurora Borealis because they named it that because it reminds us of the Northern Lights. All right, guys, so I will have these linked for you down in the description box if you are interested to get one of your very own please use my link down below i am a uh, affiliate for amazon and so any items that you purchase through my link gives me a small stipend just a small percentage and it does not cost you anything extra but it does help out my channel to be able to purchase more things to test out and try to and show you so that you are able to see what something is like or how it will be turn out before you spend your money on it in case it's not something you wanted. So if you also would like to help support my channel by supporting me through Patreon, you can find that link down below as well. I do have different benefits for each tier so check it out and don't forget to hit the like comment by like button and comment subscribe and share i will see you guys in my next video have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do take care everyone bye